Shake it loose and let it fall. Then lie close and kiss on my skin. Humble and like a shadow on the wall. Come and lay down by my side till the early morning light. It's so hard to be alone. Help me make it. Through the night, oh, baby. and I don't care what's right or wrong, and I won't try to understand. It's too early for this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental health with me, your host, Khadija. You know, sometimes I ask questions or I, I post them from a long time ago and I, I read the responses. It may take me long enough. But I try to get to each and every one. And sometimes I pull out the best one and that best one is almost like um, the one I like to share, right? And this one is so interesting that uh, I just got to share with the family. And it was, the question was, what is the m most messed up thing your parents did to you or did? Maybe you bear you bear witness to, or um, just in general. What is the most? This was this was regarding toxic people, I believe. It was in response to. Um, and a young uh, girl said, um, or oh, young lady, I should say. I'm sorry, Lisa. When I was 14, I was raped repeatedly by a neighborhood teenager. I would come home beaten and bruised and cry. I let my mother know, and she told me to shut up. My father caught the guy in the act of another attack on me, told him to go home and punish me. My teacher and friends knew what he would do and they would try to stop him. He pushed my teacher into a closet and locked my friend, not knocked my friend down some steps while they were trying to protect me. Don't, because I can hear y'all now. I left a note for his mother and she left me and she let me know the next day it wasn't going to work. This abusive behavior went on for 10 months and my parents did nothing. I turned 15 and I told my aunt what was going on and she was shocked. She brought it up to my parents and they told her to mind her own business. It all came to a head. Uh, when I ended up hospitalized because of yet another beating. This last one, I was pregnant and he beat me so bad I miscarried. He was never punished. Now, for the really messed up part, per your question, my parents never cared. 28 years later, I left my husband not the same guy. After 26 years of marriage and 
was sitting at my parents' dining room table, and my dad wanted to know if that nice guy you used to date is available. I was flabbergasted. I replied, you mean the piece of shit that used to beat and rape me until I almost died? And get this. He said, yeah, him. Addendum. I had to disable comments because it was overwhelming for me to continually read what I wrote and the reactions of others. I truly appreciate the kindness and caring of the majority of you that have expressed to me. This is part of a comment that was that I sent someone else. I'm slowly learning how to care for myself. Hopefully, I will figure it out before I die. Comment. I've been abused in every way you can imagine since age four. I'm 57 now, and up until the present day, I was conditioned to accept this treatment because I was brainwashed at a young age by my parents and subsequently my ex-husband and then reinforced by my current husband that it was all my fault and I needed to be ashamed and remorseful for being that type of person that would allow years and years of molestation, rape, beatings, verbal, financial, emotional, spiritual, and mental abuse by these people. Every time someone would stand up for me or protect me, I'd fall madly in love with them because I was so wore down that that was the only qualification in my book to being a good person. Just protect me. The longer I was treated this way, the worse the treatment got because it was normal and part of my life, and I just accepted it. I have been hospitalized around 18 times for mental reasons, and I've attempted suicide many times. The worst part of my life, though, if you can believe it, is others who know nothing about my life or the strange dynamics involved, and who had a nerve to say to me, you're an idiot, dumb, moron, etc., for putting up with this for so long and allowing them to abuse you. How do you know how to react or what steps to take if it was never taught to you? and you were never taught these things. I immersed myself into work, caring for my children and others so I could mentally escape what my parents, siblings, spouses, or others were doing to me. Even today, I live with a husband that has hurt me so badly, physically and emotionally, in the past, he should be jailed. But yet, here I am cleaning up after him, cooking for him, and being a good wife. My whole life has been a fantasy of escape. I've never been happy for more than a day. And it's unfair that I have been taking medication for 30 years to control my thoughts and make me forget all the freaking jerks that are around me. Thanks for letting me be. Listen, I appreciate your comment. I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you sharing this story. That's why I always say, you know, it's never too late. It's never too late. And what happens when you are set up and groomed by your first caretakers to receive and accept abuse. You don't know that. You don't even know that's what it is. And most of us don't discover that until a little later on. 
but all of our behavior dictate that we've been damaged, that we've been scarred in some kind of way. So I'm here to tell you, well, first of all, I'm here to say to you, Lisa, God bless you. And um, that is the epitome of dealing with toxicity. It's the epitome of it. So, again, I don't know. Hopefully you will figure it out before you die. That's how I feel about a lot of things in life. And, but that's why God gives us another day. You know, he trying to figure it out. So if any of you uh, other uh, friends out there have a comment that you might want to leave to Lisa, I would really appreciate it and I would love to send them all to her because um, it's really important that when you heal it, you understand that it is a journey. Uh, to me, that's the most important journey. We can talk about liberation. We can talk about getting free. We can talk about, but if we don't free our own selves from the, our own demons, then there is no healing and we can't move forward. Because hurt people hurt people. And when you start to feel better and understand that, then you can do some healing. And then you can be liberated at home first so it can spread abroad. I don't know. That's just my humble opinion. Y'all come on with it. Tell me. What you think. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Please share. And I'll talk to you and see you in the next video.